Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. We are in a damn fine spot. Damn fine. Uh, we're getting to the point where we can rival Bengal in terms of sheer force of will. And what is their tech level? Six. And we're about to hit eight, right? Yeah. Cavalry shock, infantry fire. So we're in a pretty pretty good spot. Well, okay, that's fine. Oh, they gave they owe us favors because we quote unquote helped them out. Well, let's see what that does for this. Still, you cocks! Now they're allies with these bastards. Well, I guess that's that then. Wait. Oh, okay. Guaranteed by. That's why. Independence guaranteed by them. What about Khmer? Man, they got slapped around, didn't they? Allied there. They're pretty far away. I don't know if they necessarily want to help me out too much. I don't think so. And it is officially the year 1500. Good for me. Wow, they hate me. Oh, rival. Huh. Aggressive expansion. Just a heretic religion. Meh. Neutral attitude, army strength. I'm too weak. You're such a weakling. I don't care about you. So, we got this converted. Local unrest down. So now we can probably move on to... Well... It's the only place left with any... Wait, where this one's... This one's still got a little bit down here. Oh so, oh, so let's do this. You go here. You stay there. Really? Yeah, fine. You're gonna get... You're gonna end up either getting dip, diplo-annexed and fed to someone else. Or for now, they could just stay as a vassal. It's not a big deal. Uh, big bad Ming up there. I just don't. I don't want to touch the Ming. I do not want to touch the Ming. Ah, uh, uh, look at that. Good. Oh, you guys want to declare war on me? That's gonna work out really bad for you. Let's see, tax modifier would be good here. Be good these two. Uh, there's nothing down here that's really going to increase our provincial trade by enough. That's only one. That's not, that's not really enough to justify the cost. That is close, though, but I think for now, uh, getting some money in the bank is probably going to be a better idea. Burmese... All right, let's start. Before we lose our Inquisitor, let's get these going. Naga. So why don't we do this? Let's, because this these guys are going to be pretty pissy up here now because we're converting them. So let's switch you down here. So he'll he'll work on this one and he'll work on this one. Uh, so these guys are claiming land. I'm not nearly as scared of them as I was before. I could put up a goddamn hell of a fight if they declared war on me because my allies would join in. I'm assuming Dolly would join in. So that's 18,000. That's 25,000. That's 33,000. That's 36,000 men. And they've got... Last time I looked, I think it was 24 in the field. 24. As much as and as much as I would like to knock them down a peg, I don't think I don't see that necessarily happening any too because I want these two provinces right here. Knocking them down a peg would be nice. Look at that, collecting 9.92 here now. Good. And that's with our, you know, that's with a, a, a large military fully stocked. We're going to bring in more artillery. I believe that'll put us up to our force limit of 20. It will. The larger our standing military, the least, the less likely that someone is to pick on me, too. Always a good thing. 
Oh, God. Declared war on Khmer. Poor guys. They keep getting picked on. Oh, boy, Dolly. You guys are sons of bitches. You really are. Hmm. What I could do is declare war on these guys. Vassalize Dolly, force them into it. Why don't we do that? We got our military fully stocked, declare war. Take... Mong Nai. And Khmer's going to join them? That's... suicide. So we're going to head up here and try to stack wipe them. Let's take the... because you know, it's going to help now. So let's take this. And yeah, we do have our allies to help us, so... Where is it? Oh, we're not going to catch them in time. Oh, so we'll try to just keep them blocked. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed all this to my, my, my march to make them stronger. All right, we got them. Slaughter, absolute slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Unhappiness amongst peasants. Ooh, so much for that money. I don't want to take the stability hit right now. Alright, so you go there. You uh, are going to start taking out this stuff. My vassals will start dealing with this stuff. I'll get that money back. Taken out alone. My allies are, are wiping the floor with them right now. Hey, bastards. Look what they're doing. Stacking the border. Yeah. Good. And we'll force vassalize those guys. They, they, they've been sitting in my way this whole time. It's a shame, too, because they loved me. And then they turned their backs on their... their Benjamin Magnus overlord. King accused of favoritism. That's hit, hit a lot. I'm never going to take that. I don't think I'm ever going to take that unrest part. Boom. Fighting in Ming territory. All right, let's uh, double down on up on what's going on over here. Uh, we'll take out because we we'll take out Dolly. We'll vassalize them, and I think we'll probably keep them like that. Land theft. Side with the monastic order. Side with the nobility. Favor neither party. Everybody loses. We'll do the nobility for now. It's because their uh, nobility has uh, too much influence. Well, you know what? You're going to... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we'll send the, you over here. Oh, Dolly. Pains in my butt. Okay. So they're going to become a vassal of mine. Oh, Ming. That's, is that Ming? No. Yu Tsang. Thought it was Ming. Alright, well, I think what we'll do is we'll swap this. Well, we'll just... I guess we'll just leave this to go quickly. You know what? Before we go much further, uh, let's... States. They're too influential. What can we do to decrease nobility's influence? Oh, 
A lo that would reduce loyalty. I think the only thing you can do is remove land from them. Call Diet. Gain loyalty. Gain influence. Gains influence. Loses loyalty. Recruit Minister. Huh. Control provinces from the... So... I think the only one thing to, we could do would be to... Remove control of a province. So that's what we'll do. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to make our our vassal more powerful. Our march. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I do. We'll seed to Huesi. No, I don't care about that. Uh, decline. Or. Huh. Let's just vassalize them for now. No nope, demand tribute. Or score a hundred and two percent. Really, we can't we can't vassalize them. Can we annul treaties, return release nations, r return cores? Um. Seed provinces that I don't want. I wanted them as a vassal is what I wanted. How come it's not 100%? Well, let's just, uh, let's just sit on it for now and see what happens at the end here. Alright, you go here. You go here. And we'll just end this. Naga. Knew that was going to happen. Not a big deal. Leave this army to, to finish up here. That's going to be a negative two on me. Yeah, should still win. I'm not even going to watch it. I don't even want to watch it. I just want to know if we win or we lose at the end there. Alrighty. No, uh, it's really coming down to it, and we won. Nope, I don't care what you want. I'm not gonna take it. Workshop. So now let's... Uh, every 20 years, March 1st, 15... So we got six more years before we can swap it out. Alright, I'm gonna get 100% worse. 91%. Oh, it's because I got stuff down here, isn't it? Yeah. Um... Khmer's involved. Bleh. Well, that's 96% now. Clear offer. They still won't become a vassal. 102%, really. Well, we did the release nation thing before, and it didn't work. So you're going to give that to that guy. Guess you'll just give these to me, and we'll we'll end it there. Well, and, and take the take them off the map. Well, I don't really want them off the map. I just want them. It's the pro problem is is I want them as a vassal. They'll never accept it. And, but I want this over with as well. Well, what if we get that worst score? Oh, it's at 102%, right? All right, we got it. We got to. We we got to finish this up with these with these bastards. So yeah, we're gonna do it like this. 
We're just gonna take their shit. I don't like it. That's not what I wanted. Uh, and we might be able to do something with it later. But, you know, we don't even have the admin points to deal with this right now. But we need to get them off the map, and now we're touching Ming, which is not something I wanted to do. Oh, shit! I thought they gave that to these guys. Oh, motherfucker. I was looking at that wrong. I was definitely looking at that wrong. Whoops. What I would like to do is take this, give it to these guys, and vassalize the rest. That would be ideal. My army's coming in to destroy theirs. Still got men in the bank, which is good. Not a ton, but we got them. Are we not going... Oh. So we got these guys over there, but we couldn't get those ones? The hell? Alright, let's go get them. Oh shit, we, got a z we rolled zeros and we had a negative one. Didn't think about that. Damn it, unrest? Don't mess that up. Well, we're at 97%, so... Um... What we're gonna do is go transfer to a war ally. Lana. Transfer to a war ally. Lana. Transfer to a war ally. Lana. Transfer to a all these are getting transferred over, so that we can give them to them because I don't want them. So we'll suit. No, we're gonna decline that, and we're gonna go back to the peace deal, and we're gonna go. Okay, you're gonna give all this land, and we're gonna pay more attention to this. We'll cede all this land to Lana. Let's see. You are going to annul your treaties. Nah, that's fine. Release nations. Blah. Revoke cores. War reparations. And give me all your money. I guess that's what we're going to get from this. Okay, that is a much more powerful vassal than I had before. And you guys are not allowed to move because you had recently suffered a defeat. So let's get these guys in here. Okay, Lana, you are a powerful march. I love my march core. There's going to be problems up there for a while. We might have rebels and so on and so forth. So let's station you over here. Can't do that. Do this one, Monopur. All right, we'll take care of those ones. Make sure we have positive relations as best as possible here. You guys improve relations. I messed up that peace deal because I wasn't reading it carefully enough. My fault. Completely my fault there. And I'm sure some people in the comment section will have been tearing their hair out because of that one. God damn it, Ben. Pay more attention. That's exactly what I wanted to do, though. I wanted to make my march more powerful so they can help me in a war against Ayutthaya better. And that's what I got out of it. Oh, shit. That's that's tens of thousands of Ming, Ming men. Nepal and Beng... Ooh. What's going to happen to Bengal here? Oh, that's interesting. Because what we need to do is make sure we have claims over here. Because if they get their butt kicked. Let's get let's fabricate our, as many claims as we can. Do we already have someone working there? We do. 
Fabricate claim. Fabricate claim. Alright, we were, we're done there. Because if we have the option to pick on Bengal while they're weak, that would be a huge boon for me. Alright, that actually helped me out more than I anticipated because we're now transferring... We, we control this 35% of this node and are transferring three ducats per month down here, which is in turn giving us more money. That's wonderful. So maybe that's not too much, too too bad of a thing. Well, nobody cares. This is a one province miner now. Nobody cares about you. Sorry, that sounded a little harsh, didn't it? You're one province miner. No one gives a shit what you think. Trade efficiency. We're gonna take that. Got core conversion going. Heretics converted. Make core. Good. Trade efficiency. Blam. Get that trade efficiency up. Start controlling this a little bit more. So basically, he kind of pays for himself. I give, you know, he, he, I have to pay him, but he increases my trade efficiency enough to pay his own, his own, like, labor costs. I mean, Pegu is strong now. Well. Regional power. Still at war with Ming. Let's take a look at the ledger. They're out of manpower. It's not like I'm doing much better, but they're at the point where they're hiring mercs. And they've got the thing, they got forts, so they got lots. One, two, three, four, five forts. So we would have to wait until they're really down and out before we do anything. Aggressive expansion. That aggressive expansion. It's it's not aggressive expansion is really more of a problem uh, in in Europe than it is anywhere else. All those tiny little miners that can all host, you know, ten to fifteen thousand men. You can easily get a coalition of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands against you. It looks like they just lost a battle too. Yeah, so we've only got twelve thousand men in the field right now. So they didn't lose that bad. They lost, but not by, you know, a ton. Man, I really get the ne this this series. I've been getting a lot of negative uh, events firing. Cho, Koch, Hajo. It's way out over there. Oh, we got rebels though. Oh, it looks like they're done. That's a shame too, because now would be the time to pounce on on Bengal. Well, they've got nobody, no, their military's wrecked, but uh, with Rebel, you know, having recently gone through an expansion phase myself, I don't think it's, a right, it's the right idea. Alright. Let's take these 10,000 men, well, let's, and these guys over here, you can go right there. There's no unrest there anymore. Oh, well, there's some there. And by some, I mean a ton and a some. At least get it down a bit. I call that diplomat. So that's as much as they're gonna like me. Allied. No, it might have. You know, I keep. I was saying that it would have been a good time. Their allies are still there. They still would have joined in. It's not that good of a time. I think I need to be stronger. Can we build any new ships yet? I mean, we haven't taken any naval, pro you know, coastal provinces in a long time, so it's not affecting that at all. I think I'm um, a little weaker than I I, I I have in my head. You know, I feel really strong. I really do. 
but it's more of a regional strong kind of thing compared to where I was before. I gobbled up a lot of people to my north. I took a lot of uh, control of the trade power in the region, and I love that Lana more than doubled in size and uh, development because they're going to be able to uh, host a, a larger percentage of men, in, you know, in the field. Can we? Is there actually anything we can do to? Let's see, you guys. Uh, Liberty desires low. They love me. Subsidize armies. 10% of your monthly manpower to your marches will change their opinion of you by plus 50. That doesn't do anything for me. I can give them my land, but I don't want to do that. And these guys are just going to get Diplo annexed, I think. Cost 152. What is their development? Eight? Oh, that's 19 development right there. Uh, same religion, royal marriage. We could probably... Diplo... We might be able to... Because they're one province now. Trust minus a thousand. They're one province. They might not have uh, the wherewithal to decline a offer of vassalization. Oh, we took out a loan. Oh, I just got one out, right? Just one. Not a big deal. And reduce our inflation. Let's do that. Bring it down to nothing. Alright, good. Army maintenance is still high. Why don't we... Well, we do have the rebels to deal with. Well, there's only the one now. Unrest is zero, really? Recent uprising, minus 100. Uh, yeah, we could we can reduce our military spending now. And increase our income. We can easily do that. Looks like Utsang is gobbling up Nepal. Poor Nepal. Kind of the merchant class. Well, occupied by Kangra? Oh, right over here. His opinion, enemy of enemy, improved relations. Let's offer an alliance over here. Military alliance. Uh, we'll send in a royal marriage too. And an ally in India would be very good. Especially one that's bumping uglies with Bengal. Alright, so provincial unrest. I know. I know there's some provincial unrest, but we're coring stuff. That'll help. Let's get improved relations going over there. I'm just I'm eyeballing that the, their coastline so hard. I'd get so I, I think that would rocket me up to like 70% if I took the whole coast. Especially now that they grabbed up Orisa here. How far down does it go? It goes all the way to here. Wow, it goes all the way through Orisa down to there in terms of the where the trade node extends to. God damn it. A lot of negative events. It's conspiring against me, the game is. All right, let's leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus, please, Europe Nervous Alice 4, to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next time.